What's up, kids? My name is Dr. Evan Esquire, and I am here from Science Explorers. And today, we're talking about my moped. Woo! Now, friendos, it's been a while since I've gotten to do one of these videos, and that's because uh, here at Science Explorers, we have been working around the clock on our at-home science kits. Our at-home science kits include everything you need to have a fun hands-on learning experience from the comfort of your home with live or on-demand video guidance. But if you want to learn more about those, you got to head over to our website because today I just got to talk about the science of my moped. <laughs> now I bet some of you are wondering, what is a moped? It's not just something that really cool people like to ride around. A moped is a motor vehicle, two wheels, that can be powered by these little bicycle pedals right here and an engine. Kind of like with a, uh, like a Prius or a hybrid vehicle. Uh, those have an electric engine or they can be gas powered. But this moped is either gas powered or me powered. Ah, now that we know what a moped is, we can get into the science behind how they work. Woo! When you're pedaling it, what's happening is this gear right here, as it moves, it's tugging this chain along just like your bicycle and it's moving a gear right back there. And that's moving the back tire and hopefully moving you. The other way that the moped likes to get going is by the gasoline powered engine right here. That's the other way besides the pedaling and it's much less tiring except for the parts where you have to work on it. Now this gasoline engine is what scientists call an internal combustion engine. And the name is exactly what it sounds like. Combustion, explosions, cool stuff. Cool stuff. Now an internal combustion works by having gasoline sprayed into a cylinder and that cylinder has something called a piston in it. So as the gasoline is sparked and exploded, pushes the piston up, which is connected to a gear that spins like that which connects to this right here this is another gear and the gear as that spins it'll cause that chain to pull on that gear and cause the tire to get moving as long as i did all of my repairs correctly and i often don't so that is how an internal combustion engine works now this moped only has one cylinder uh, but, you know, there can be, you know, a lot of cars have four cylinders, six cylinders, eight cylinders. Uh, you know, they, they can go on and on. But each cylinder has a tiny little explosion that pushes it up and then turns a crank and then it comes back down and then gets exploded again. So that's a little bit of how the engine works and how the pedals work as well. But a wise man named me once said, being able to stop can be more important than getting going. Am I right? That's right, road dogs. We're talking brakes. Woo! So the brakes on this moped work exactly like the brakes on your bicycle. You got the levers right here. This guy is your rear brake. This is your front brake. And what they do is they have a cable inside of here. What that cable does is that cable finds a, 
its way all the way down to here. And I'll do a little close up in post production. We call that B-roll, kids. And what that does is that cable tugs on a piece of rubber which pulls against the inside of the wheel. And what that does is that causes friction between the brake pad and the wheel. Now, I know a lot of us have heard of the term friction before, but what friction is, is the resistance a moving object experiences when it has to go along something else. Friction is that heat we feel between our hands when we rub them together. It is what slows down a ball when you roll it across the yard. And uh, friction is also uh, what makes uh, Fleetwood Mac's record rumors so magical. All right, friends, now that we are talking about slowing down, I wanna talk about another scientific concept I love called momentum. Now, before we do that, I wanna ask you a question. Uh, do you think something is easier to slow down when it's all heavy or when it's, you know, nice and light? Answer the question out loud and maybe I'll hear you. Probably not, most likely not, but let's see. Woo! All right, well, let's do an experiment to find out. Now, here is a clip of me uh, slowing down with just the weight of me and the moped. Now, here is a clip of me slowing down with a 40 pound bag of kitty litter in the basket. Now, the reason it took longer for me to slow down when I had the kitty litter in the back of my moped and ended up my neighbor's bushes is because of something called momentum. Momentum is the strength of a moving object. Momentum is why it's so hard to slow down when you're running real fast. Uh, it's why a wiffle ball when you throw it, it doesn't quite go as far as, you know, if you threw like a baseball, something heavier. Momentum's also why Cher has been able to give us hit after hit after hit. Going back to 1965, the faster or heavier something is, the more it's gonna wanna keep moving. And that's what momentum is all about. Now, momentum also is why a two-wheeled vehicle or a bicycle is able to keep moving even though it only has two wheels because when you're just standing still on a bicycle gravity might take over and put you on the ground but when you are moving the momentum overwhelms the gravity and you just keep going forward things that are going just want to keep going until they're slowed down <laughs> I could go on for days and days about the science of my moped and talking about it because I really like it. But there is science behind everything around us. There isn't just science behind things that make you a really cool 26 year old bachelor. There's science behind the flowers in my mom's garden, the computers that uh, I don't know how to use super well and the snake down by the creek that makes me afraid to go down by the creek. I think we just need to do some more videos, so be sure to check back soon for more of those. Uh, nonetheless, uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and share, and uh, be sure to uh, look into our kits at our website because uh, I'm not a real doctor, but my student loans are very real. All right, friends, thank you for watching. It is 90 some degrees. Uh, out here, so I gotta get riding, get that cool wind on my face. So as always, uh, my name's Dr. Evan Esquire, and I'm here from Science Explorers. Bye-bye. Woo!